Hello everyone, it's another beautiful blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord. It's always an honor to praise Him, to glorify Him, to shout out His holy name because we serve an awesome and awesome and amazing and loving God. Man, there's no God like our God. That's why I always praise Him. That's why I always glorify Him. His praises is always on my tongue each and every day regardless of what I'm going through in life. I'm always going to praise Him. I'm always going to worship Him. I'm always going to glorify Him and shout out His holy name because He is merciful, He is loving, and He is faithful. He is so amazing to us, y'all. He is so amazing and faithful to us. His love is so kind to us, y'all. Praise Him, worship Him, glorify and shout out His holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. And today's message is, the sun is going to shine sooner than later. The sun is going to shine sooner than later. And some of us right now, we still going through a little storm. Some of us right now, we still going through a little difficult situation. But in the midst of in our storm, in the midst of we going through a little difficult situation, we still thanking Him. We still praising Him. We still glorifying Him. In the midst of all that, anybody can praise. Anybody can glorify, but when you do it with all your might, heart, and soul, that's the difference. When you do it with all your heart, might, and soul, that's when the sun is going to shine sooner than later. And I believe right now, and I declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I see this, I see this um, sun right now shining on every last one of us. You know who you are. You know what kind of storm you're in right now. You know what kind of difficult situation that you're in right now. The sun is going to shine on us sooner than later, y'all. Get ready. Because I know it. I can see it right now. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Our Heavenly Father God, just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for our health today, our strength today, our hearing our voice today. I can't thank you enough that we're able to seek you and your kingdom today to give you the thanks, praise, and glory today. I just can't thank you enough that I was able to seek you today. This would be a part of your presence today, God. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and doing in my life and also your children's life. I just can't thank you enough, God. That's why we're always going to continue to seek you, to praise you, and glorify and shout out your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today, I would love for y'all to turn our Bible to Psalms 50, and we're going to read from verse 15. That's Psalms 50, and we're going to read from verse 15. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, Amen. Amen. Let's begin. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. Call upon me. In the day of trouble, which right now we're still in trouble because we're still in our storm. We're in trouble because we're still going through things. And I will deliver you. But you, what you promised us right now, God, you said, I will deliver you. You didn't say that you might or you'll think about it. You said that you will deliver you and you will honor me. And right now, God, that's what we're doing. We call upon your name right now in our trouble right now. we still having trouble in our storm. We're still having trouble in our little situation right now. But you promised us, God, that you will deliver us. That's what you said. And you will honor me by our trouble. We still honor you right now, God. And you know our troubles, what we're facing right now. You know our situation right now. You know what we're going through. And you might be in a rough place right now. Things are not going your way. The storm you're in is tossing you around. But in the midst of all of that, you are still praising, worshiping, glorifying God. Nothing is stopping you from that. And like I said, once you praising him and you worshiping him and you glorifying him with all your heart, mind, and soul and nothing stop you from that, I believe things going to turn around. But as long as you're doing that, the sun is going to shine. As long as you're doing what you're doing right now, the sun is going to shine. Sooner than later. That's a must. You might you might have been weak through your situation. You might have been weak through your storm. 
but your praise to God has making you stronger. So by you doing, by you in it, by you in your storm right now, and by you going through your little situation right now, by you praising God, by you worshiping God, by you glorifying God, you don't realize that you don't get stronger in your difficult situation. You don't realize that you don't get stronger in your storm. You don't realize that. Right now, your situation is getting weak. Right now, you don't realize your storm is getting weak right now. It was out of Category 5, but now it's out of Category 1. Get ready to get your sunblock out now because the sun is going to shine on you. Yes, it is. It's going to shine sooner or later. It's going to shine. Because when you praising him, when you worshiping him, and when you glorify his holy name with all your mind, heart, and soul, the sun is already breaking down the clouds right now. The sun is already breaking down the storm right now. The sun is already breaking down your situation right now. God is not going to let your situation get the best of you. God is not going to let your storm get the best of you. The best of you. Of you. If you are praising him and you lifting his name up high through your situation, and if you praising him and you lifting his, hand, his name up high through your storm, no way, no how that God will let, let that happen to you. It is our time for the sun to glow on us. It is our time for the sun to grow on us. There is no way possible that God's going to let our situation get the best of us. There is no way possible that God's going to let our storm get the best of us. Like I said before earlier, anybody can praise anybody can worship but when you praising him when you worshiping him when you lifting his hand his, his name up high with all your might heart and soul that's a difference that's when you breaking down your situation that's when your storm is breaking down and there's no way possible that god's gonna let that situation get the best of us there's no way i believe right now i see the sun coming through I see the sun is peaking right now. Some of y'all ain't going to sunblock ready right now. Go and wipe yourself down because the sun is going to shine. I'm still in my storm. But Mr. My Storm, I'm still praising him with all my might, heart, and soul. I'm still glorifying him. I'm still shouting out his holy name each and every day. I'm still letting him know I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done and doing in my life. I'm letting him know I can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. I'm letting him know I can't thank you enough for you, for you allowing me to breathe and that you give me an opportunity each and every day to minister the word of God through my storm. I'm letting you know I can't thank you enough because you are my everything. I'm letting you know that no one come before you. You come for my wife, you come for my kids, you come for my job. There's nobody coming for you. You're number one uno in my life. So that reason right there, I know that the sun is going to shine on me sooner than later. I know right now that the sun is going to shine on your daughters and your sons right now because through our situation right now and through our storm right now, we're still praising you. We still glorify your holy name. We still honor you. Not with our lips, but we honor you with our might, our heart, and our soul each and every day. And what you said and what you promised us, God, you said that you will deliver us that's what you said God so I'm just, I'm just presenting our case to you what you said you said I will deliver you you didn't say that you might you might deliver us you didn't say you'll think about it you didn't say I don't know you said that you will if we honor you and right now Heavenly Father God we still honor you through our situation we still honor you right now through our storm we still give you the praise we still give you the glory we still give you the honor right now thank you jesus hallelujah and we ain't gonna stop god even when the sun come we still gonna honor you we still gonna praise you we still gonna lift your hand your name up high god because there's no god like you you are marvelous god you're victorious god you are every day god you're the same today yesterday and forever god for that reason right there we ain't gonna never stop lifting your name up high we ain't gonna never stop praising you we ain't gonna never stop glorifying and shouting out your holy name each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus because this is our time right now God and the sun will shine on us thank you Jesus now who I'm talking to today who am I talking to today you know what kind of situation you're going through right now you know what kind of difficulty you're going through right now you know what kind of storm you're in right now but in the midst of all of that long as that you are praising him and you worshiping him and you honor him and you lifting his name up high with all your heart, mind, and soul, there's no way possible 
that God is going to let the situation get the best of us. He, he promised us, y'all. Now, I want y'all to catch this now. He promised me and he promised you guys, my brothers and my sisters, that he will deliver us. That's his promise, y'all. So get ready. The sun is going to shine. The rain is over with. The pain is over with. The rain, the pain, the difficult situation that we've been facing, we've been going through is over with. But in the midst of all of that, that storm can handle us, not could it? Our situation can handle us, could it? Our difficulties can handle us, could it? Because we were still praising. We were still worshiping him. We were still glorifying, shouting his holy name. We were still telling him we can't thank him enough. That's why he can't get the best of us. And that's why the sun is going to shine. That's why the sun is going to shine right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare it right now in Jesus' name that it's shining right now. It's shining right now. It's glowing on us right now in Jesus' name. And if you receive this word today, and if you receive this message today, let's give God some thanks right now. Let's give him some praise right now. Let's give him some glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because the sun is shining on us right now. You promise us that you're going to deliver us. And we say, we thank you. We honor you. And we glorify, shout out, and worship your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed in Jesus' name. Because why? The sun is shining on us. It's about to shine on us. Y'all get ready. It's coming. I see the peak coming out now. Like I said before, Lord, we honor him and praising him and lifting him up high each and every day with all our heart, mind, and soul. There's no way possible that our God that we serve, our God that we honor, our God that we praise each and every day with all our heart, mind, and soul is going to let our situation get the best of us. Get ready. Get your sunblock on because the sun is coming and it's coming sooner than later. It's Mr. LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Always.